Hey everyone, I'm Pia and I'll be taking on the Cosmo Challenge while I'll be answering some of your common problems. Okay, let's start. Question number one, or problem number one. I never had a good relationship with my dad. He cheated on my mom and I resented him for it. He left us when my siblings and I were young. Now my dad wants to reconnect. I already forgave him, but I just believe that we don't have to be close again. My relatives keep saying, Magulang mo pa rin siya. But I just don't think we need to be friends. Is it wrong for me to feel this way? The answer is no, it's not wrong for you to feel this way. You, your feelings are valid. This is your experience and you don't feel like the connection's gonna be genuine. So don't force it. It doesn't mean you're a bad daughter. He made some decisions in his life earlier on while you were young and you've had to go through it on your own or go through it with your mom or your, with, and your siblings. And you were open a month to reconnect. I think that's more than enough. Maybe in time you will find it more you'll find it more naturally lalabas na lang na you want to have a deeper relationship with him again but if not that's also okay you don't have to be pressured what by other people saying na magulang mo pa rin yan or ano ganyan alam mo that's toxic way of thinking they don't know what your experiences were like so nobody can comment like that and don't mind it if they do so just live your life girl number two my boyfriend and I are talking about getting married and having children. He brought up that he prefers that I stay at home and take care of the kids. I told him I'd still like to pursue my career, but he emphasized that ibang alaga ng mommy kesa sa yaya. I feel bad about his stance and I hope he changes his mind. Am I the baddie because I don't want to be a stay-at-home mom? Okay, buti na lang, you're talking about getting married pa lang. Because this is a very important topic that you should cover before tying the knot. Ang tawag ko dito, mga gender-based expectations sa isa't isa. So, er, this early on, he's already expecting you to stay at home and that's not what you want. So this is a big red flag and this is something that you, you should really talk about because this problem is gonna come when you get married and there's gonna be no escaping it. Otherwise, it's, you're gonna have to separate and you don't want to compromise yourself either. So, I agree din naman na iba naman talaga ang alaga ng isang mom kesa sa yaya, but it doesn't mean you have to put your career or yourself on hold. So maybe you can find an in-between. Pag-usapan nyo muna. This is so important. I relate ako sa'yo because I'm also a very career-driven woman and I can't imagine myself only staying at home and taking care of the kids. I would like to do both. I would like to have a career, but also be present in my kids' life. So, this is a conversation that you need to have with him, honestly and openly, and be ready to get a not a very favorable response. And that's okay, kasi mabuti nang lumabas yung katotohanan ngayon kesa mamaya pa, or when it's too late. Three, I always find myself stalking my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend. Ang ganda kasi niya, matalino, and close pa rin yung family ng boyfriend ko sa kanya. Oh, hirap nito. I really can't help but be insecure. Please help. Okay, that's hard. I'm not gonna lie. Pagka-close sila sa ex ng boyfriend mo, it, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not really a bad thing, you know, kasi they... Their relationship is separate naman from your relationship with your boyfriend, but I, I get what you mean, how it's like awkward maybe. I think your question here is like, how do you stop yourself from feeling insecure and always stalking? Maybe reach out to her and be friends. Lalo na kung they didn't separate naman um, in bad terms. You don't have to be like friends, friends, but then just be civil para mawala yung takot mo. So, reach out and be like, hey, um, it's Pia, kunyari, for example, it's Pia, um, you know, I just don't want things to be awkward. Would you, you, you want to go for a coffee or something? Because if he ha she has a close relationship with the family, it's better to um, get along na lang or at least have that civil connection kesa you're like creating this wall and you feel like, oh, she's the enemy. Ganyan. And especially if the ex is, uh, your boyfriend is not naman, like interested in her anymore. There's no need to 
feel doubt or insecurity. So I think it'll make you the bigger person also. So mag reach out ka na lang or isobrang close mo yung family niya para ikaw na yung reina. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if my advice is really good, pero kaya mo yan, girl. My friends and I are all in great jobs and relationships while I'm still single and stuck in a low-paying job. I love what I do for work, but sometimes I can't help but compare myself to my friends. I also want to meet the one for me. How do I overcome this? Okay, so you're comparing yourself a lot to your... So this feeling is coming from you being unhappy with where you are in your life. And na emphasize lang yun kasi you're surrounded by people who are happy with their jobs and their life and their their income and their relationships, boyfriends, ganyan. So it's not so much a them problem, sorry, but it's a you thing. It's where you are in your life now and maybe you're projecting kasi Wala, hindi mo mapigilan na compare mo kasi masaya sila tapos unhappy ka sa sarili mo. You need to properly sit down and really think about what's making you feel this way. Do you still love your job? Is this really something you like to pursue? Should you maybe consider changing your career and pursue a passion? Something new and exciting that will keep you, will make you happy? Really, like, if you're comparing yourself to others that means there's something happening to you and the only way to fix it is you have to make some changes there the solution is not to cut ties with your friends or not to force things you know uh kailangan siguro i pursue mo na yung passion mo and yung the one hindi hinahanap yan Kusang dadating yan. It's like a magnet. When you're happy and you are content and you're glowing and you're just good to be around with, you attract positive vibes and that also includes love. So it will all come in due time. Relax. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're young. Kung sino ka man na nag-send nito, bagets ka pa. Totoo yun na. Kasi even in the moments where I compared myself to others, it's always because there's something within me that I was unhappy about. It's not other people, it's usually you or us. Next one is, my fiance and I are in an LDR, but in a year's time, we'll be married. Oh, congratulations. How do we decide which location will be our forever home? Oh, girl, dapat pinag-usapan yun na to, matagal na. Okay, for anyone, na getting married pa lang, talk about the big things and even the things that may not have happened yet or may possibly happen. For example, where do you expect to live? Are you gonna live in another country? Siya ba pupunta sa'yo? Ikaw ba pupunta sa kanya? Are you gonna move into somewhere completely different? This is something you have to talk about now because it's gonna be a huge adjustment. Either way, if he goes to you or you go to him, may isa sa inyo na mag adjust or baka pareho pa kayo. And I hope na kapag live in na kayo even just for a bit. Kasi kung LDR kayo, tapos bigla kayong, kung ikaw mag adjust bigla kang titira sa ibang bansa, this first time nyo pang mag live in or to live together, oh my gosh, nakukulture siya ka na nga, mayroon pang mga bagong mga little things that you learn about your partner that you probably didn't know before. Diba ang kotse nga test drive bago bilhin? Test drive mo rin yung relationship mo. So, <laughs> test drive mo muna. Talk about it now before you tie the knot. And not just where you're gonna live, but what kind of job are you gonna have once you live together? Um, and even the really difficult questions like finances, you need to talk about that. You need to talk about kids. Do you want kids? If yes, how many? When? What happens if one of you can't have kids? What if you can't have kids? Are you open for adoption? Are you open to do IVF? What if um, you have a miscarriage? Those things, I know, like people, oh, don't, don't say that. No, but we gotta talk about it. What if you don't want kids, right? Like, these are things you have to talk about. Kahit yung mga topic na, oh, no, musabihin yan, or, like, or, ito, ito, big, big topic also to talk about. What if one of your relatives or your parents, knock on wood, pass away? What's the expectation? 
how do you take care of the, the parent who na may iwan? Are you gonna live with them? Are they gonna live with you? Who's gonna take care of them? Because that's inevitable. One of these days, our parents are gonna go and we're gonna have to take care of who's left or you know, our, your partner, for people who are grieving, things like that. I know, I know, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm morbid mo naman. But those are the things you want to talk about while you're still in a good place. Kasi pag emotional ka na, tas tsaka nyo palang pinag-usapan yan, you won't make good decisions. So the solutions have to be talked about now. Okay, number six. I'm a breadwinner and I'm getting tired of providing for my family because I want to start a family or even have a life of my own. How do I open this topic to my parents and siblings? Until when ba talaga dapat magbigay? Oh my goodness. This is tough. A lot of Filipinos are breadwinners of their families and mahira pag sinanay mo na rin in a certain way and there's expect na lang that there's going to be a reaction. Expect it. Especially when they're used to a certain lifestyle and you enabled it. Kasalanan natin yan as breadwinners. So, um, you need, the only person who can fix this is you. So, you need to have the conversation with them and you need to be honest and upfront. Pwede mo rin namang unti unti in na instead of completely cutting off financial support, pwede babawasan mo muna. Or, Maybe suggesting the idea that your siblings, tama ba siblings? Yes, your siblings find the job of their own. Or opening up the idea to your parents na ma or pa, parang um, gusto ko na mag-ipon. Kasi syempre, gusto ko rin magkaroon ng sarili kong pamilya. Tingin mo, tas pakinggan mo lang. Start the conversation. You don't have to shock them. I don't think something like this will have a good reaction if you just rip it off. Like it has to be done slowly, parang you taper off the, the support, pa unti unti. And it's not a bad thing, it's not a selfish thing. Breadwinners always have this guilt na parang, oh, am I being selfish if I don't help anymore? Girl, like, sa totoong buhay, it's not our job to take care of everybody around us. You just do it because mabait ka, di ba? At mahal mo sila, di ba? But if you stop, that doesn't mean you're bad. Kanyan lang yan. Tanggalin mo lang yung guilt sa isip mo. And um, instead of giving financial support, maybe you can offer opportunities instead. Sabi nga nila, di ba? Teach a man. Oh, basta, alam nyo na yung quote na yun. <laughs> alam nyo na yun. And until when nga ba talaga dapat magbigay? Hanggat buo sa puso mo. When you start feeling trapped or start feeling bad or when it starts feeling like a transaction then you know it's time to stop or slowly stop kaya mo yan it's gonna take a while but you can do it and it's for you for your life for your future and that's it for today so who do you want to do a cosmo challenge next comment down below but please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this Cosmo YouTube channel and give me a follow on my YouTube channel as well. Bye!